Hey you, it's 24emodels.co.uk, welcome to part 14 of the Tackham 135th, is it part 14? Tackham 135th scale, Chief and Matt Temple, I think it's part 14, uh, whereupon we should be getting the, the brown stuff, the brown stuff on the machine with the stuff and the, the painty thingy doodab, what's it, just, just, just... <laughs> Going into iPod mode again. This is a uh, quite time consuming thing. So, just a little bit of the, the cling filmy food droppy type stuff again. That should be plenty there. I hope. Yeah, this uh, this actually came with a parcel received recently. Managed to bind everything. Uh, with clean film, so it's not actually. <laughs> yeah, I know, skin flint. So what I can do again, like we did with the the rear deck, just tack some tape, half and half over the clean filmy type stuff. Just catch that edge there. Check it for reference photo. I'll tidy that front edge up properly in a minute. I just need to get on that side there. Like so. Bear in mind we've got uh, some kind of box here so we can have the proper tidy up edge in a second don't forget, you're going to take your time with this Done properly and get it all nice and lovely. That's about 40 of you scratching your head at the moment. Have we got that many viewers? <laughs> right, so there's more than one way of doing this. Yeah, whichever your preferred method, method is. Mef method! Something cooling, aren't you? Method. What's that? Feel very nasally today. Oh, many. <laughs> like that. I'm enjoying this. Point me around about there ish. Let's 
special. You catch a patient underneath there. To protect in that area. Lovely. A little bit of surgery now. And don't forget by sticking the, the tape down to the desk first, which is taking off a little bit of the tack from the tape itself. I'm not going to pull any paint up. Yeah, full of gestures though. I feel very Italian today. So I'm very nasally, very Italian. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'll tell you what I did off earlier. Hot cross bun. Oh, lovely. Lovely it was. Hit the spot beautifully, it did. That's going to end up nothing off around the corner. Do enjoy me across buns. That's interesting. I can't quite make it out because there's a big basket in the way. Well, it does appear that this side, this section here stays grey. You just painted the. Uh... Hmm. Now, do a chance it. Paint the entire corner. Risk the wrath of everybody. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Because that would make masking this section up a lot easier. Again, if you do decide to go brown in this corner, uh, there's a little box just there. We need to take off first. Or leave off, even. Do you know what? I'm going for it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. At this stage of the game, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. But of course, if this kind of thing is important to you, uh, by all means, go for it. Cocking tail stick, come. Oh. I've just realised my bruise gone cold again. Yeah, by all means, if this kind of thing where the the colours must be in specific orders is for you, then do so. I'll be honest, it's not something I really sleep over. I know that annoys quite a few of you. I do apologise. Yeah, it's not for me. I've got more important things to worry about. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Of course it's important. Of course it's important. Why wouldn't it be important? I don't have time to worry about these things anymore. That's it. That's the one. That's better phrasing.
Right, so I should hold that. So we've got that corner in that brown colour. That corner in brown. That's my stuff. That's my stuff. Must go for this down here. That's going brown. And that's going brown. Okay. Yep. I'll leave that. Hockey dokey. So, choose the thin stuff. Use the fast stuff for that front end. Yeah, it's a very, 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 very faint panel line, weldy type thing, just here. It's a really, really good guide for where the the grey goes on that section. I'm not too sure if you can make it out because the white balance is all over the place. Because white. Just there. It's a cracking visual aid. Right, so that's that bit there. Make sure that down on the fingertip. Tiny spot of tape just there, because that's uh, that's quite loose. That's it, there's a box here, so I'm not too bothered about a wonky line there. And cut back to the slightly thinner tape because we need to catch. So, well, that wasn't a bad guess. And then a little bit of trimmage will be needed. Oh, will it? No, no. Ooh, I've mitre jointed without even trying. Brilliant. I like that. I'm okay, I'm not nervous. There we go, lovely, right. So it's strange there. Like so. Let's get rid of that bit. Come here, you go. Lovely. Let's give that a bit of a talk. Just there. Like so. Let's see if we can neaten this bit out. Oops, come here. Grandly, right. So it's ready. Must off. Little brown corner. Brown corner. Brown corner. Lovely, right, that's that. I'm going to do this part in time lapse.
didn't quit just to be flow. Alright, wish me luck. The same again, we're going to uh, very lightly just ghost on the the first layer of paint. There we go. Just gonna just shot that and help. I put no rush to get this down straight away. Forget as well. Try and come down away from where the the masking tape is. Now, hopefully, prevent bleed through. There's absolutely no rush. I'm just laying the paint down in a couple of even coats. Should be that then for the lower deck. And now for toilet. So I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to paint this whole corner. Uh, like I said, the diagram I'm using, this little section here, just on the side, is still grey. Which will go behind the basket that goes there, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to chance it.
tuning too.
insulation. Uh, that one. There we go. Yeah, that was a pain. Uh, got most of the way through, masking all this lot up, and then I heard boop. Ran out of memory on my card. It's great. Well, uh, that'll teach me to check, won't it? Right. Right, 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 right. So, I say, last night, oh, just off camera, away from you all, uh, for some strange reason. I didn't film it, but I painted all this in the, the grey colour. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and add the white. Now, adding the white is just going to lift the, the colour of the brown underneath. Underneath, from the brown, from the barb, you see. I don't know, that works in my head. Why doesn't that work in my... Uh... Yeah, why have I not... Oh, hello. Ooh, that's brown. I know that. That's brown. I know that. We'll go white first anyway. No, just let me check my reference. Because I'm trying to figure out why I've not done that. Oh, wrong one. Wrong folder. Do -do -do. Within a minute. Aha, that's why. Right, white, brown. Do the whole thing white. Mask off the brown. Right, got it. It's okay, I'm with it. At a distance, but I'm with it. Ooh, hello. Try and suppress your trigger as you're uh, <laughs> trying to load your paint. That would be super. So, just to avoid all the masses of overspill, overspray even, I'm going to move that. Add the white in the like so. Quick spray. Make sure it's running through nicely. And then again, nice light coats. Still at your colour. Don't go blasting it down in only one go. Again, just very, very lightly building up your, your layers. There's absolutely no rush for this part. Now, I still need to paint the main fender itself grey. 
that's not a problem. But what I do need to do is put more of this into white. Here we go white. Like so. This fella here is white. here will be brown but we've got some white in the corner here somewhere but again just lift the vibrancy up staying grey but I'm not cover that up because my thumb's gonna be protecting that apparently. Yeah I know. And then this part goes white. Like so. Just lift the vibrancy up on this one. Say that'll be brown, but it'll lift the, the colour up. <laughs> like that. I don't know. Don't look at me like that. Right. Just go around and get a, a thick layer on this lot. Like so. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, oh, missed that one at the back. That's fine, it's okay.
Brain stop moment. Lovely, right. Leave all that's dry. Right then. Quick swig of frothy coffee. <sighs> Crush your fingers, boys and girls. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Do you know what? I'm actually quite nervous about this. Actually, quite nervous. I've got my uncle yapping away in my ear all. He's not even here. He's off doing whatever he does. I can still hear him. Make sure them lines are straight, lad. Of course, I won't. Ted's yapping away in my ear all. Make sure them lines are straight, lad. Yeah. Do you know, I'm actually more nervous about my uh, upsetting Ted than uh, my uncle. Yeah. Mm. Be brave. Come on, be brave. Be brave. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. It's going to be grand. There's the odd chip here and there in the masking tape itself, and that's from uh, the paint that was on the gloves. When I was working on doing all this, that'd uh, that'd work, wouldn't it? Get it off underneath first. He says, "Come on, get off." Yeah, I know. There's about a million of you sque scream, a million of you. <laughs> a bunch of you screaming, "You tweezers!" Nah. Gently does it. Ooh. Fine. I've had a couple of days off work. It's been great. Downside is I've got a million things to catch up with. Ooh, lovely. Now, some overspill. I didn't quite mask up properly, but that's fine. I'm not bothered about that at all. I can go back and touch that in. By hand. Ooh. Battle damage. It's okay. It's okay. We've got a box under there. Uh, over the top of that. That's fine. But we can incorporate that into the chippage. That we need to do. Because even though these were quite pristine tanks, they're still going to get the odd ding here and there, the odd scratches from use. Especially where Barry's involved, which has decided the driver's called Barry. Don't know why. Yeah, I do know about Barry, but I've not seen him for God. It's got to be eight years now, but he was never a tank driver, so I don't know why I've. Thought, yeah, mind you, he was a bit clumsy. Get off. Right, and this is where we need to be really, really delicate now because we've got 
that full to itch. Gently does it. Gently does it. Yep, we're full paint off the full to itch. And that's a pain in the It's okay, we can touch that in. Not a huge problem. Not a huge problem at all. Just realised I'm not wearing my glasses either. I've got no choice now. I need to get these. You'll do. Okay, yeah. That's not good, the little bent tip. Stop it. A needle sharp, can't use those. What have you done? You'll do. You'll do. Yeah, I'm not going to use the, the needle ones because uh, needle handle new. No. I mean, I'm going to scratch into the paintwork or damage something else. I should probably do this over now, aren't I? Of course, when you come to do this, be very, very, very careful. You don't start ripping things off. Do this nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Right, let's pull paint from somewhere. No, it's not from there. It's oh, very odd. Must have been from the glove. Yeah, take your time. So I'm starting no rush with this. No rush whatsoever. Tell the difference now between a freehand line, which is all nice and fuzzy, and a hard edge line. Sorry, Ted, but that's going to be hidden under the box, so I'm not too bothered. Sorry, yeah, hang on. Okay, Ted, tutty. Right, that's that. I've got to be very careful because there's a couple of pieces of full switch, which is just there. One just there as well, just off to the side. So you're going to be very, very careful not to rip away from there. Very, very careful. Like so. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Because we're very delicate when you're handling because you might knock, uh, knock a few bits and pieces off. Be very gentle. Very gentle indeed. Charming. Happily, there's not a great deal of bleed through. Yeah, I know. I've got various pieces in my hand, I'm not even using them. There's uh, yeah. hardly any bleed through whatsoever. There's that chunk of photo etch that we stripped off right at the start of the masking process. Well, that's fine. So we'll switch that in. So there's that, uh, that piece there. That's okay. A tiny little bit of the green just come away there, but I can <laughs> lose that in the weathering. That's okay. But I'm bloody happy with that. Oh, there's a piece there. I am happy with that. Let's 
got a bit of retouching to do in these corners I couldn't quite get to when I was masking. That's nothing in the grand scheme of things. I'm really chuffed with that. Really chuffed. Oh yes. Yeah, we're having that. We're having that. We're having that, right, pop that off to the side, get that out of the way, so, yeah, just down here, uh, I couldn't quite get that with the masking, and then there's down here as well, we need to retouch, that's fine, that's fine, it's nothing, genuinely happy with that, right then, so, extra careful around here, because of the, the smoke canisters, don't want to rip it off. That can take your time so we're not pulling any paint away. Oh, my toes are curling. Let's see this stage, if you haven't detacked your tape first, like I was doing uh, when I was cutting on the bench and pressing it all down, it's at this stage where you start pulling your paint off. Loving that. Loving that. You know, I've done quite a few paint jobs over the years. This is now, at the moment, up in the uh, up in top bits. A tiny little bit of overspray just here. I've not quite gone straight enough there. But I'm not bothered. I'm really not bothered. I am very, very, very happy with this. Very happy indeed. Chances are I've got some other panels wrong. That was off my glove, I remember that one. Don't panic, no it's not. Oh no, that's from there. No. So that's the touch that in as well. Hinge. That's not too bad, considering all this masking we've done. That's not bad at all. Careful on that part because we've got a breakable thing there. Just that one spot. Out of all this masking, that's not bad at all. Curling again. Ta -da! Oh, yes. Oh, a little bit of overspray with the brown. Bloody happy with that. That's the dog's nuts. That's what that is. That's the dog's nuts. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh, wow. Fantastic. I'm liking that. I am liking that. Beautiful. 
Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Right. Gonna pop that off to one side, nice and safe, and gonna let all that cure overnight. Tomorrow, hopefully, I can get some gloss on that. Uh, do the odd bits of touching in later on when it's all dried. I can gloss that now and get the decals on tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yes! I'll tell you what, this, I can quite honestly say this, as much of a pain in the backside as it was masking everything up, as you've just seen. You know, it is pretty time consuming and it wasn't something I was able to do all in one sitting. I was literally doing this in a couple of evenings. I think it ended up being like two weeks altogether by the time I was actually able to get all the paint down. It is, quite honestly, one of the most interesting paint jobs I've ever done. The most interesting paint job I've ever done. But it's the one I've enjoyed the most out of everything I've ever built. Everything. See, I'm doing the hand wave and everything here, right above the thing. Don't break it. Um, this is definitely my favourite paint job in the world ever. I've loved this one all the way through. I've loved it. I've not even finished that. During, well, I've, I've finished it in real life, but I've not actually finished it in the videos. Love this one. I'm actually thinking of doing another. I said that loud and everything. Right then, so join me next time, and I think we move on to doing the wheels and the tracks and things like that. Uh, I think it's wheels and tracks. Was it wheels and tracks? Yeah, wheels and tracks. And yeah, we carry on doing stuff, and I might even get down to the decline in the next episode. I'm not too sure, I can't quite remember. I'm in the middle of doing all the, the bulk editing at the moment. We're just literally throwing crips. Cl crips? Clips? Clips of... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's all very complicated and technical. Um, but join me next time. I will crack on with the, the stuff with the, the thing in the water set. And I do that. Bob along. See my mates at emodels.co.uk. I found the sticker. I'll put it down again. I found the sticker. I found the old one. I found the old one. I didn't find my new one. And it's all state of that. That much dust knocking about, and you imagine how much dust I'm breathing in when I'm not actually talking. You know, you know, when I'm, ooh, hello. When I'm talking to you guys and not using my face mask and me extracts a fan over there. That's how much I'm breathing in. That's how much you're breathing in if you don't use one. Shocking. Uh, but along, see my mates at emodels.co.uk, as I was saying. Spend some money with them. If you haven't got it, you don't need it. It's your one-stop shop for all your model making needs, I think. Is that what Fox says? I can't quite remember. Fox and Ted do the live show on a Monday. Do pop in. It's brilliant. I love the way they take the mickey out of each other and other people and things like that. And I keep saying that I'm going to make it to one and I never do. Because real life. Um, but I will try and get there eventually. I will. I promise. I will. Right then. That'll do for now. I shall see you in the next one. Until then. Love you. Bye.